Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm sharing Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. I'm reading through the book of Ephesians and I'm sharing verse by verse as the Holy Spirit leads me. I've already did Ephesians 1, 1, 1a, 1, um, 1b with verse 2 and today I'm going to be sharing on verse 3. So what I've been doing is reading through the book of Ephesians now. I have read the book of Ephesians so much within the past year. I cannot tell you how many times the Holy Spirit had me read this book over and over and over and over again. And he told me that I was going to share and he was working some things out with me. And eventually, by his grace, I got on and I started sharing. So, again, I cannot tell you how many times I've read this book. I've lost count. It's more than 10 to 15 times within the past year. Um... And so it's just amazing how the Holy Spirit works in our life. I love when God tells us what to read. I just, I mean, yeah, we can just pick up and read anywhere, but it's it's a, it's a it's something different when you're led by the Spirit because he's teaching you things and it's the mind and the heart of God um, in that moment, you know, when the Holy Spirit says, read this. So, oh my God, um, um, I'm just delighted and so, so grateful. So, Ephesians, so I want to pray first. Um, yes, I want to pray first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you. Thank you for you. God, thank you for your presence. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us and guiding us into all truth, bearing witness of Jesus. Father God, as I share, as I read and I share, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would give the interpretation. Lord God, that you would speak to my heart, speak to the viewer's heart, the listener's heart. Lord God, thank you that we are not just hearers of your word, but doers also by your spirit. And Lord God, I do thank you and I praise you in Jesus name. Amen and amen. So Ephesians chapter one, verse three. And um, I'm going to share exactly how the Lord, um, you know, spoke to my heart regarding this this verse like the process what did I go through in a process um, of reading and learning about this particular verse Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 I'm reading from the King James Version blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ and so, you know, as I was reading that, it was like two things I really wanted to, what was on my heart to zoom in on, I should say, and it's spiritual blessings. Well, actually three things, but I'm going to share these two spiritual blessings and in heavenly places in, in Christ, spiritual blessings and in heavenly places in Christ, right? So last night, those two, I was zooming in on that. But previous, before that, as I would read that verse many times, the word that will stand out to me is all. Or, like when I see the word all or past tense, ed, or has given us, the Holy Spirit has me zoom in on that because it's not a little bit, it's not a lot. It's not a significant amount. It's all. That means complete. All. Okay. I'm going to read that again. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who have blessed us. Past tense. He has already did it. With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So as I read this, just remember all. All. Right? Now, but I'm not going to list all of them because I cannot. I don't, I don't even know all of them. I know, I know better to humble myself and say, 
Samantha, you don't know everything. You don't know all of it. You know some of it. But God is infinite. There's more than meets the eye. There's more than you've encountered on this earth. There's more than what you've learned so far. But I thank God for what I have learned. So I was writing, I wrote down last night. Okay, I'm like, okay, Lord, what are spiritual blessings? So someone said, what do you mean you don't know a spiritual blessings? Yes, I, I know sp spiritual blessings. But it doesn't hurt to ask again, like, to go deeper and to go higher and to become more knowledgeable and gain more understanding from the Holy Spirit. We never corner the market. Like, there's always more to learn in God and from God so and about God. So, I, I wrote it like, what are our spiritual blessings? And then, and then I, I wrote that down, that question. And I'm like, all right, Holy Spirit, I want you to guide me and lead me in the scriptures. So I started doing a study. I like to go on Bible Hub because it has, um, you know, um, like um, reference scriptures. Then you can get the Greg's le lexicon, different commentaries. You can get the definition of words in the Hebrew and in the Greek. So um, I did look up spiritual because there's a point on Bible Hub where you can go to the verse and you can click on certain words and it will list, 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 um, lead you to the definitions. So it was basically saying spiritual, spiritual from the divine spirit, right? But then I also wrote down heavenly places and I looked and I did a search on that. Mind you now, I'm still have down what are spiritual blessings. I didn't list anything yet. Uh, then I went to look at heavenly places and when I did the search on heavenly places with the help studies on Bible Hub, um, there are many definitions, but this is the one that stood out to me that the Holy Spirit um, put on my heart that's apropos to um, this verse is referring to the impact of heaven's influence on the particular situation of purpose. So in heavenly places, referring to the impact of heaven's influence in heavenly places, heaven's influence on the particular situation or person. So we're blessed with all spiritual blessings in um, in heavenly places in Christ. Christ's influence, heaven's influence on our situation and on us as a people, right? And then, um, yeah, so spiritual blessings and then i'm gonna go back then i did some research on spiritual blessings right even if you google it on ai ai is going to give you some a list too but i particularly when i looked at ai i was like mm, okay that, that's pretty accurate but i still went to different various sites right and as i began to read it's like i said okay but holy spirit i want you to speak to me based on the scriptures not that they are wrong, but based on the scriptures. And the Lord began to just confirm to me all the blessings of its existence. We don't know all we need. We don't know all of them, right? But what we do know is this verse is not talking about earthly right here. Yes, God has blessed us with some earthly things. But right now we're talking about spiritual blessings, right? Fruit of the Spirit. Grace, salvation, redemption, justification, righteousness, faith, mercy, the power of God, God's might, God's strength. There's so much more. Like I said, I did not list them all here. I couldn't even list them all here unless the Holy Spirit did something supernatural gave me all of them. No. This is what he's given me so far. However, see, one of the things God had me right here is sometimes we feel like we don't have all that we need in God. There's a scripture that says God's given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. He's given us everything pertaining to life and godliness. That means God... He supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. Everything that we need. Everything pertaining to life and godliness, right? 
for day-to-day -day living. Sometimes it feels like we don't have it. That's our feelings. But according to the word, it says it. But it's when, especially when it comes to, right now I'm talking about in this moment, in this verse, spiritual blessings. We have it. All spiritual blessings. He's already blessed us with it. But we... But it's different things we need every day. That's why in the Lord's prayer, pray, when Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, he said, give us this day our daily bread. Bread is provision. So we don't need everything every day. The main thing that we need every day, that we have every day, is Jesus. But some days you may feel like, how can I say, you need to pray more or some days you may feel like you need more strength. And it's like every day God gives us what we need. Even if we don't feel it or we don't see it, we still have it, right? And what was on my heart is to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. When we feel like we don't have that spiritual blessing, Knowing the knowing the word, not by our feelings. We walk by faith, not by sight. Knowing that God is not a liar. He speaks the truth. Wait a minute. I have every spiritual blessing. Everything that I need to serve God. To live. Every spiritual blessing I have in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Wait a minute. Heaven's influence. Heaven's influence and impact. Christ Jesus' impact in my life. You know, on my situation. So pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Some verses say in earth as it, on earth, in earth as it is in heaven. The way that it is in heaven, the way that it is in Jesus. Remember, Jesus is seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so, wait a minute, I lost my train of thought. Okay, thank you, Lord. So again, we can pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And remember, he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Whatever I need day to day, I already have. I'm just asking God to bring it down. Bring it to me from heavenly places, right? Um, in Christ Jesus. So, um, I also want to share this morning, um, I do praying the scriptures in um, different categories. So, one of the, the categories or topics God had me praying about um, today, this morning, was God's promises, and surprisingly, God, he connected the two because I was writing these notes last night. Well, some of them anyway. And it's funny how he took what I was learning in my private devotional and connected it to this also is also my devotional. But he has me sharing this. So it's private public. <laughs> um, how he connected the two. And one of the scriptures um, for God's promises is this. And this blessed me so much. I'm going to read it because this is a spiritual blessing, which is one of the greatest promises. And then he gave me another one. And I'm going to read that. Romans. Hold on. Yes, that Papa. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So here we go. I had lost my thought before. I thought I heard someone knock on the door. Romans 10, 9 and 10. A promise from God. A spiritual blessing. God's promises to us are spiritual blessings. Starting at verse 9 in Romans chapter 10. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart. That God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, 
whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever call, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm going to read it. It was on my heart to read it in a, another version. And um, I believe. Okay. Thank you, Lord. In the Amplified Version. All right. All right. It says, because if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification that is being made righteous being freed of the guilt of sin and made acceptable to god acceptable to god and with the mouth he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly resulting in and confirming his salvation for the scripture says whoever believes in him Whoever adheres to, trusts in, and relies on him will not be disappointed in his expectations. For there is no distinction between Jew and Gentile. For the same Lord is Lord over all of us. And he is abounding in riches, blessings for all who call on him in faith and prayer. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord in prayer will be saved. Amen. And that's Romans 9, Romans 10, 9 through 13. A spiritual blessing. Promise from God. The greatest promise. I have to do a video about the promise of God after I finish this one. A short clip um, to put on my Facebook page. Now, the other one. Spiritual blessings. It was your blessings. So, look at this one. John 17, 3. Hmm. I'm going to read it in the King James, and then I'm going to read in the Amplified and the NLT. I'm going to read in three versions, I believe. And this, John chapter 17, verse 3. And this is life eternal. That they might know thee, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Amplify version. Now this is eternal life. That they may know you. That they may know you, the only true God supreme and sovereign God and in the same manner know Jesus as the Christ whom you have sent. Jesus. Jesus praying to the Father. This is eternal life to know God and to know Jesus Christ. Spiritual blessings. And in him we are complete. Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. That means everything that we need. Everything pertaining to life and godliness. Right? Spiritual blessings. What is earthly blessings without spiritual blessings? I could say a lot more, but I think God wants me to stop there. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. 
thank you, God. I worship you. I adore you. I praise you, God. You alone are worthy to be praised. There's none like you in all the earth. You are God alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for eternal life. That we may know you, Lord God, in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You lead and guide us into all truth. Oh, God. Blessed Trinity. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. You are worthy, worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. There is none like you. There is none like you. You alone are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus, for every spiritual blessing of God. We have done it. We walk by faith, not by sight. We take you at your word. We take you at your word. Thank you, Jesus. You have done it. It's already done. You gave it. It's already done. Hallelujah. We just ask according to your will. You have done it. He has done it. It's already done. On the cross at Calvary, you did it. You said it is finished. It's already done. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's already done. Oh, bless his name, God, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' name, you've already done it. Alrighty, so God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you always. Till next time, Lord willing.